Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today, we are going to make a Java project on online bookstore system. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java IDE and a Swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here is my main method. I am passing an object of bookstore class. It's a GUI form. So to create one, you need to go over here in the project package, click on new. Click on Swing UI Designer and then click on GUI Form. Two files will be generated. I have named it as Bookstore. This is the .java file and this is the .form file. Let's uh, uh, see our UI first. So this is my panel and uh, I have named it as Main Panel and provided few margins over here. And uh, this is a J label. These two are the J buttons. You can add the functionality to the button by going over to the button then uh, choose this option create listener some code will be generated in the dot java file let's see our uh, java file this is the class bookstore class and these fields will be automatically generated once you design the panel this is the uh, object of uh, uh, jframe class and using this main f variable in the constructor this is our constructor we'll be calling few methods over here which are required so that whenever you create the object of bookstore class this form appears onto the screen uh, this method set visible is set to true so that the panel is visible this method set location relative to is set to null so uh, on uh, running this particular line our frame this particular panel appears onto the center of the screen if uh, we don't put this line then automatically it will take the uh, screen coordinates and it will start from uh, the top left corner and uh, set default close operation uh, requires this parameter jframe.exit on close what it does that uh, uh, when this panel appears onto the screen it uh, comes with these three options uh, the minimize maximize and the close the close operation uh, stops the execution of the code and uh, set contain pane requires the j panel as the parameter so we will provide the name over here now let's move to the functionality of the code this is the customer button i am uh, creating another uh, new object of customer class and over here a new object of admin class these two are also gui forms so similarly you can create one this is the dot java file and this is the dot form file so uh, let's see our ui this is the uh, this is my panel and i have named it as admin panel and margins are provided this is a text field and this is the uh, j label and over here it's a j panel and i have named it as date and the layout is uh, set to border layout over here uh, this is the j table and uh, do not forget to add the j table under the j scroll pane this is my j label and this is a button similarly you can add the functionality by going over uh, by choosing the option create listener let's see our java file now this is my class and uh, similarly these fields will be added and uh, using the same uh, way uh, same method we'll uh, initialize a new object of jframe class and uh, in the constructor we'll call the similar methods this over here is a uh, jdate chooser object uh, using this we can add uh, this particular date uh, into the panel which we have created over here and named it as date so we can write date dot add and pass our date chooser object over here in the IntelliJ, we'll uh, be using uh, the calendar like this. But in other IDEs, you can simply uh, add the jar file and those options will be available in this palette over here on the right hand side. Now, uh, we are calling this method table data. What it basically does that it extracts the data from the database and uh, put the data into this particular table, J table. Let's uh, see the update button now. Uh, okay, 
so over here uh, i have named this as delhi date it's a string and i am formatting it and uh, formatting it in the same way uh, which the user sees okay so uh, our date chooser dot get date method consists of the time as well so we don't want that so uh, we'll format it uh, any way we want and then we are calling this uh, query over here in the prepared statement and uh, we are building the connection and uh, uh, passing our url and the user and the password then calling this method execute update and uh, popping up the message updated successfully catching the exception if there is any and calling this table data again in this particular query uh, this is the table name and we are setting the delivery date as uh, and this is the very uh, the uh, variable over here delhi date of type string which we are uh, changing it from the uh, which we are changing it to the date we extracted okay from the calendar and where name is equal to name dot data so over here the admin enters the name and uh, we uh, uh, he or she can select uh, the data from the uh, table and uh, choose the name and set the delivery date and press on to this button it will update the status okay uh, this is the mouse listener you can add a mouse listener by going over here into the table under this uh, table you can go to create listener and go to mouse listener choose this option mouse listener so uh, over here uh, this code will be generated so what we want to do is extract this data the round and the red uh, if you select this particular row so round and red can be extracted and then we can uh, populate uh, this area the name okay name or delivery or anything uh, so over here what we need is the select uh, the row row index and the column index so row index can be extracted by calling this method of table this is our table name uh, uh, which we have set over here okay uh, over here okay so get selected row extracts the index and the uh, name data uh, is our text field over here okay so we are calling this set text and it will set the text to uh, and uh, to this input okay so dm is our default table model and we'll be calling this get model method and uh, then converting it in this format this default table type default table model and we'll be calling this get value add method in the default table model class which uh, requires the row and the column index so in the uh, zeroth column our name uh, supposed to be there okay so this particular table which uh, will be populated with data at the zeroth index our name will be present so it will extract it from the table and convert it into string and then populate this uh, text field now let's move to the table data method we are just extracting all the data present into the database so uh, this is the query and we'll be building the connection and uh, we'll be using result set to execute the query pass our query over here and then uh, we'll be calling this method set model and uh, this is the method which i have created on my own but instead of this method you can use default table model uh sorry instead of this method you can use dbutils dot result set to table model method and pass your result set variable over uh, object over here and uh, then it will run in the same way then catch exception if there is any okay that is it all about the admin.java file let's move to the customer file okay this is the form over here you can see uh, i have named the panel as customer panel similarly i have uh, provided margins these are the text fields you can uh, design it through these options over here present over here uh, let's say let's choose left okay now it looks good 
uh, this is the J label this is also a J label and over here uh, it's also a J label which I have named it as book name and over here it's a J label 2 which is named as price this is a table and uh, these are the three buttons over here order now check status and books available so you can add the functionalities in the similar way let's move to the java file okay in the same way i have um, made an object of uh, jframe class in the constructor also i have uh, called the similar methods okay let's start with the button add button it is checking first that uh, if uh, name and location data is present or not okay over here if the user has entered something or not so we are extracting it and equating it with null so if uh, it's null then uh, it will pop up a message please fill all fields to add record the uh, we'll use show message dialog method to display this method uh, display this particular line else if the user has entered something then these set of lines will run uh, so this is the query to insert the data and uh, we'll be using the prepared statement so this is the syntax for it now build the connection and uh, using this uh, statement of type prepare statement we'll be calling set string method and uh, passing our data to it so at the first uh, column the name will be present at the second column location will be present at the third the book name and at the fourth the price okay so these two will be entered by the user and uh, we can extract these two the book name and these are the labels so user cannot enter anything over here so we can extract it from the uh, this particular table okay so uh, let's see uh, this is the query insert into purchase books this is the table name okay uh, and then okay we'll finally call execute update and pop up a message order place successfully and uh, then setting these text fields to null catching exception if there is any and uh, popping the message accordingly now let's uh, talk about this button update button okay this particular button is update button check status so uh, let's see uh, if uh, name dot get text equals to null okay so if it's null the user hasn't entered anything uh, okay so it pops up the message please enter name to check else this select all from this table where name is equals to this okay so it will extract the data based on this name so similarly uh, build the connection and run this query using the result set and i am checking over here if uh, there is uh, nothing into the table okay if this query returns uh, null so pop up a message no customer found else uh, run this query again and store it in this uh, result set uh, variable and then call the set model method again and uh, pass uh, the result set over there okay and uh, then catch exception and uh, pop up the message accordingly now about the table listener okay you can add the listener in the similar way and uh, what i am doing here is populating the uh, our j labels the book name and the price okay they were null initially okay you can see over here they are null over here so we'll be populating it with data uh, according to the uh, uh, data present into the table and what user has chosen so if the zero it on the in the zero it column the book name is present and in the first column the price is present okay so it will extract it and then uh, it will populate the j labels now books available so when the user presses on the, to this button what it does that it calls this method table data now about the table data this is the method this is another table books present so i am only storing the uh, book name and the price over there so in my database uh, this particular table is present so build the connection and uh, use the result set to run this particular query then call this method 
and uh, uh, your data will be entered into this J table from the database. Catch exception if there is any. Okay. Okay, this uh, this is it. I hope you understood the working of the code. Let's now run it. This is the UI you can see. Now let's press on to this button, admin button. Okay, this is the data that was stored. Uh, okay, let's uh, click on to this. Okay, the add listener is uh, the listener is working. So uh, in the zeroth column, the name is present. So on clicking it, our uh, name is extracted and uh, it has been put over here into this text field. Now we can uh, update the delivery date. Okay, the delivery date has been updated. Now let's uh, go to the customer panel. Okay, you can see the book name and the price. You can select it. Then these will be set over here. Now let's add another name. And let's say location is uh, okay. You need to enter the whole address over here. Then let's click on order now. Order place successfully. Okay. Now you want to check it. Uh, it pops up the message. Please enter name to check. Okay. So the user will enter their name and they can check. Okay. So uh, this got updated the table. Uh, the user has entered the name, the address, the book name, the pr uh, price is over there and the delivery date is, has not been set by the admin. So over here you can go and you can see there are two entries over there. Okay, so you, uh, the admin can select over here and uh, set the delivery date and then click on the to the, onto this button, update it successfully. Okay, so the date has been set. So when the customer uh, now checks over the their data okay so now it has been updated okay the code is working i hope you understood the working of the code thanks for watching subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas